Hi, and welcome to Light Reading's Executive Interview. I'm Sue Merrick, and I'm your interviewer today. And I'm going to be speaking with Sanjay Kodali. He's the head of technology for the networks business at Samsung Electronics America. Hi, Sanjay. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you. So let's talk about fixed wireless access. Why is there such a strong business model for operators today in fixed wireless access? Mobile network operators have this challenge of both growth and monetization with 5G. We believe FWA can solve both the problems. FWA services is going to get new additional revenues to mobile network operators. Apart from that, they can get a new mobile subscribers by promoting FWA mobile services bundles. As per many analysts, uh, FWA subscribers will be expanding and there will be 14 to 18 million subscribers by 2027. So clearly there's demand for fixed wireless access um, across the board then. Yes. I mean, T-Mobile will FWA report late last year. According to that, they are adding 500 new FWA subscribers every quarter. That's a tremendous growth. And among broadband users, uh, where are they bringing these uh, fixed wireless access customers from? FWA subscribers are coming from all morphologies. They are not only coming from rural, they are also coming from urban and suburban areas. So they're, they're coming from all across uh, different market segments, apparently. Yes. As per the T-Mobile's report, their new FWS subscribers, 65% of them are coming from urban and suburban areas. Yeah. So what is Samsung's approach to fixed wireless access, and, and how does it differ from other um, vendors in the market? As, as a RAN leader, we have a broad portfolio of products, and we also offer a traditional RAN as well as a virtualized RAN. In the context of FWA, FWA subscribers will be, will be served by mid-band and millimeter wave. Uh, in millimeter wave, we have been the pioneers in the space and with many industry first milestones. And in millimeter wave, we also got an interesting architecture which, which combines the RU and the DU into a single box. Uh, so which this will enable the operators to keep millimeter wave services wherever they want without having a BBUs on a cell site. So that's a, that's a significant difference, and we we are continuing to innovate in that space. We are planning to bring our dual band uh, massive MIMO radios, which is also an integrated product, like just I described. So when I say dual band radios, it's it can serve up to 800 megahertz of uh, let's say 24 gigahertz and 800 megahertz of 28 gigahertz in a single box. So this type of a products will will help a lot to the MNOs to reduce their capex and opex. And when it comes to the mid-band, I mean, we have deployed various products in, in the mid-band. I mean, especially I wanted to note about the massive MIMO units. We have deployed many massive MIMO units, both with the traditional RAN as well as the virtualized RAN. I want to point out the signal research group analysis uh, in uh, Network Tennessee, powered by Samsung RAN. Uh, they were trying to explore the 5G multi-user MIMO in, 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 the, in the test, and they observed that Samsung RAN can provide up to 16, layer, 16 layers in downlink and eight layers in uplink. That's a significant differentiator compared to our, comp our competition. And this these multi-user MIMO is a key for an FWA because that provides higher capacity of a cell site uh, using the same spectrum, thus improving the spectrum efficiency and the capacity of the site. What do you mean by layers? Is that related to capacity? Uh, yes. Layer is a, a stream of data that's coming from a RAN to, RAN to a subscriber, whether it's an FWA or mobile subscriber. But typically, a, 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 a device gets two to four uh, streams. So when, you are trans when, a, when a RAN is transmitting 16 layers, that means it's serving uh, of four to eight users simultaneously with the same spectrum. So it's, it's kind of giving it that, that much capacity using the same spectrum. And the uplink capacity is becoming more important. Isn't that right? And you talked about that with, with your product. Yes. Uh, we already talked about uh, the uplink multi-user MIMO. So where we are getting eight streams of data in, in uplink. So that, that helps improve the capacity in the uplink. 
And in case of uh, TDD, the industry deployed mostly four to one ratio. And but based upon the uplink streaming and many other many other applications, we we are we are trying to bring new TDD ratios. So we're already testing different TDD ratios at this point. So that would also help to improve the uplink demand. Great. Well, thank you for joining me today. It was a pleasure talking to you about fixed wireless access. It's my pleasure. Thank you.